Good evening and welcome to our weekly reflection for week 13. Tonight's uh, re reflection is entitled A Beautiful Thing. If you were looking for the service sheet earlier, I apologise, I have only just loaded it onto the website, but it is now available on the Peak Parish's website on our, um, our Churches tab and then our Scattered Church and you'll find it in the Peak Parish's resources for um, Sunday worship and weekly reflection. You can down download a copy of it from there. So this evening's reflection has been written by John and um, the theme is a beautiful thing. And for this evening's worship, you will require a cross and of some sort and a bottle of perfume if you have one, something smelly, something that smells nice and um, I have my perfume bottle there as you can see. So the opening verse. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. And we read slowly through Mark chapter 14 verses 3 to 7. While Jesus was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, why this waste of perfume? It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor and they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, Jesus said. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, and you can help them any time you want. But you will not always have me. We don't know what the motivations that sparked the outspoken criticism of the woman. Perhaps some of those present were jealous of the special attention Jesus was receiving. Maybe there was genuine concern for the poor, encouraged by Jesus' own passion to reach out to the marginalised and outcasts of society. No doubt others did not believe Jesus was worthy of such extravagance or thought it unseemly to display such affection in public. Who was this woman? More importantly, who was this man who provoked such a response? The woman anointed Jesus with the very best she had because she loved the Lord more than anything else in the world. Jesus endorsed her action because it was fitting, for he is the Son of God worthy of all our praise and honour and devotion. As Isaac Watt writes in his most loved hymn, Were the whole realm of nature mine, it were an offering far too small, love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. The acid test of our faith in God is the outpouring of our love for Jesus. How dear is he to our hearts? How much do we love the Lord? For our prayer activity, we are invited to reflect on our reading once more. Picture yourself in the room with Jesus. Perhaps you are one of the disciples or an onlooker or Simon, even the woman herself. Imagine the scene as Jesus is anointed and everyone is staring. What are you thinking and feeling? You hear Jesus say, she has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you and you can help them any time you want but you will not always have me. What is your response? Hold your perfume bottle in your hand. Think about why you bought it. 
why you chose that particular brand. Think about the Lord. What would you do? What would you give to show how much you love him? You may wish to say the following prayer. Lord Jesus, you are more lovely and more worthy than anything else in all creation. You are my light, my joy, my hope and my life. I give to you this day my body, my soul, my heart, my strength, my all. I offer you my work, my friends, my wealth and my life for you to use as you see fit. Accept this small offering as a token of my love and the sacrifice of my worship for my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Anointing at Bethany, Bethany by Malcolm Gates. Come close with Mary, Martha, Lazarus. So close the candles stir with their soft breath and kindle heart and soul to flame within us, lit by these mysteries of life and death. For beauty now begins the final movement in quietness and intimate encounter. The alabaster jar of precious ointment is broken open for the world's true lover. The whole room richly fills to feast the senses with all the yearning such a fragrance brings. The heart is mourning, but the spirit dances here at the very centre of all things. Here at the meeting place of love and loss, we all foresee and see beyond the cross. Let us pray. Gracious God, fountain of all wisdom, we pray for your church in this land, for our archbishops, Justin Welby and Stephen Cottrell, for our diocesan bishops, Keith and Mark, and all Christian leaders. We pray your word may dwell richly in our hearts and that as the family of God, we may knit together in love and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the nation and for those in authority under them, thinking especially of our own United Kingdom. Give them the gift of your wisdom and a right discernment in all things. Guide them in justice and to uphold the rights of the poor and the marginalised that all might be valued and respected, whatever their race, colour or ethnicity. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for our communities in Sutton, Bosley, Winkle and Warbaclough, for those who live and work here and for those who visit. Speak your word of peace in our midst and help us to serve one another as we would serve you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for those who do not believe in you or love you as their Lord and Saviour, and yet they long to know you and the life you offer. Open their eyes to hear your voice and open their hearts to receive your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for those bowed down with grief, fear or sickness, especially at this time of enforced isolation. May your living word bring comfort and healing and may your spirit anoint them with peace and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God, 
in the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our song to sing or reflect on tonight is Take My Life and Let It Be, Consecrated Lord to Thee. of our salvation you have restored us to life you have brought us back again into your love by the triumphant death and resurrection of Christ continue to heal us and restore us as we go to live and work in the power of your spirit to your praise and glory Amen, Amen. the Lord bless us and watch over us the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. wish you a very good night. <laughs>